Welcome back to Marina Cavalier Puppies. I'm Julie. This is Mia. This is William. Back there's Rosie. And this is little Miss Purple. She opened her eyes today. Oh my gosh. She is so cute. She is an exact replica of Mia. She is perfect for the same face where she's got a little of the brown here and a little more white on one side. Her body is exactly like Mia's, all black with a little white up here and white down here. <laughs> Look at her cute little tail. <laughs> so uh, today is exactly day 14 and she opened her eyes yesterday. So she's a little ahead of the curve. There's another little tri girl who opened her eyes as well. I noticed that this morning when we woke up, her eyes were open. The rest still have their eyes closed, but I'm expecting that they will be opening their eyes in the next day or so. But she is just precious. She is our little itty bitty. She is so much smaller than the rest. She's like half the size. She's so cute. I'm thinking we might keep her. She might be a part of our family. I mean, I do get pick of the litter, right? <laughs> And little William right here is absolutely in love with his little sister. He can't stop sniffing her and kissing her. She is so precious. So today we're gonna to talk about what to expect during week two. During week two, yes, the babies are going to open their eyes at some point and their ears are gonna open up too so they can hear. Um, you're, Dame is going to, you're going to notice a little change in her. Um, she's eating at least four meals a day for milk production. If your dame is not creating enough milk, that means you need to increase the amount of meals she's, <laughs> the amount of meals that she is eating. Also, you're going to notice that when she's not nursing them, she's going to spend a little less time inside that box with them. And she will want to come back and be, be your pet which is what I've noticed me has been doing somewhere around four o'clock in the morning. The babies always wake up and I notice me is on my bed on my pillow. And I have to wake her up and take her back down to the box for nursing, but she's a very good mom. She nurses them until they fall asleep. And then after they fall asleep, then she excuses herself out of the box. If she hears any noise immediately. She's barking. She's checking up on them. She does trust me. She lets me handle them. I try not to handle them too much um, because I want to encourage her to spend as much time as possible with them. Um, it's good for them to start getting um, handled the things that we do for neurological um, development, like tilting them up, holding them, tilting them down, and then on their backside and then recovery. And the more you do that, the more stimulation they get when they're really young, the um, more developed they will be neurologically. Maybe that's why she opened her eyes so early. Good job, baby. Uh, at this point, you do not want to um, clean the mother yet. Just use some charcoal wipes, keep her nice and dry because they're still using her for warmth but not as much as they did when they were first born. When they were first born, they needed a lot more of her for um, temperature. Now they curl up together in a little dog pile and keep each other warm. So that's the changes uh, that I've noticed so far is Mia spending a little less time in the box. Of course, her appetite has increased significantly and um, She's got her energy back. She's bouncing up and down the stairs again. She's like a little rabbit. That's how she goes up and down the stairs like a rabbit. It's very funny. And our little precious babies opening their eyes. So today we're going to take their first glamour photos. And I'm going to post that onto our website. If you haven't been on my website, it is marinacavalierpuppies.com. And you can see last litter pictures and read the story about us and how we take care of our babies. Like I said, I'm not a full-time breeder, I'm a nurse, and this I just do because I absolutely adore Mia, and I think that she's just a spectacular, sweet girl, and she's been a really good mother. 
And after Mia has her babies, we are going to be moving on to Rosie next year. I've decided we're going to definitely take a year off with Mia and reevaluate her situation, see if we want to breed her again or not. This is her second litter. And as you can see, she has missed me a lot. She's just in my lap every chance she can get when the babies are sleeping. So we will reevaluate and see if Mia's going to have more. If not, it will be Rosie's turn next year. She's Rosie's just under a year right now. So about a year and three months, she it'll be her turn. So that will be at least two more heat cycles she's going to go through before uh, she is ready to breed. I think that was what happened with Mia. Mia went through about three, maybe four heat, heat cycles before she was ready. All right, so we're going to take a look at some uh, videos that I that I posted throughout the week, and we're going to take a look at their glamour photos, which I'm going to put up here, so you can see what all these little sweethearts look like. If you are enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe. It helps out my channel a lot. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more likes I have, the more YouTube will take that algorithm and put my videos up to the front so other people can see as well. Thank you. Isn't that really cute videos they are so sweet this guy here look how much bigger he is this is our um, lemon boy he's the only lemon boy we have he is just so big he's at least twice as big as the little one that you saw earlier miss purple we're calling him mr. blue right now until he is claimed I'm gonna um, post on my website their beauty shots and I'm going to send them out to people who have asked me in the past. Oh, look at that. He's yawning. He's so sweet. Good boy. He hasn't opened his eyes yet, but he will. In the next day or so, he's going to open his eyes. Oh. So th these are the variations you could have in the Cavaliers. You can have the Blemons. You can have the Tries. You can have the Rubies. And then you can have the Black and Brown, which is really cute as well um and you can see the size difference he is definitely going to be a big boy i'm going to say probably 18 to 20 pounds easy 
it's just much, much bigger. I don't know how such a big boy came out of little tiny Mia. <laughs> he came out pretty big. He was like close to a pound when he came out. He's a big boy. All right, so if you enjoyed our videos today, please um, like and subscribe and share with your friends. And next week, oh sweetie, next week we're going to follow them. By then they should all have their eyes open and starting to explore their um, surroundings, which is really cute watching them try to take those first few steps. All right, Mr. Blue, say goodbye. He's sound asleep. <laughs> Have a good week.